Hello, everyone. This is criminal profiler Pat Brown, and there is critical breaking news coming from Martin Brunt and Sky News about the Madeleine McCann case. They have a new witness that apparently he pulled out of his butt. But OK, we have a new witness. Yes, a new witness who has information that is astounding. And I'm going I bet you we're going to see from the Madeleine McCann family camp. We're going to see uh, their followers, their supporters going hog wild on this new information that proves that the McCanns were not involved in what happened to their daughter. All right. So what is this new stunning information that suddenly this mouthpiece for the McCanns has come up with and Sky News allows because they don't appear to care about journalism too much these days? What is it? Well, I think there's a problem with the, the German cases floundering with Christian Bruckner because Prosecutor Walters, well, you know, he's he, he's been pushing, there's been a bunch of different theories about how he could be involved in what happened to Madeline. Remember the old burglar theory, the three burglars mm -hmm, communicating by phone, and he's a burglar. And so some somehow he might have gone into the vacation flat to burgle it and ran into Madeline and accidentally killed her, or at least some burglar did, but it might as well be Christian B. And he smothered her and he's like, oh gosh, I've killed the kid. What do I do? Instead of running away, why don't I carry her out and get rid of her so well that nobody ever finds her? That, that's a theory. It doesn't work out really well and it hasn't proven to be proven. So the, the German prosecutor is really big on, no, that's not what happened. What happened was he's a sex predator, which he is. This guy's a psychopath and a sex predator. I'm not going to play down that he's not the person you want to hang around your family or children or near your campsite. You don't want this guy around. But so he's, you know, he's, he's, he's already, you know, locked up in, 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 in Germany and he's for other crimes, which are sexually sex crimes, you know. So so here the prosecutor, so he's very excited. So now he kidnapped Madeline for sex purposes. And that was blasted everywhere all over the, the, the media. And of course they dug up everything related to Bruckner his, near his home and any, any place where he might have stored anything, they dug it all up. And they even went to a reservoir in, in Portugal and dug that up because he hung out there. And they came up with absolutely zero, no, no, no body of Madeline, no clothing of Madeline, no photos of Madeline, no videos of Madeline, no nothing. But the prosecutor keeps going steam. No, he's going to keep fighting it, you know. He says, it's just around the corner. We're going to get him for this, for the abduction of Madeleine McCann. But they can't seem to find any evidence. So we have this today. This new information has come out. Oh, my goodness. So exciting. So it turns out. It wasn't a burglary. It was the child wasn't taken for sex purposes. The child was. Let me read the the headline first of all, from the Sky News article: Plot to kidnap child hatched a week before Madeline McCann disappeared. And what plot was that? And why was she being kidnapped? She was being Christian B. Supposedly was going to kidnap a child from a rich couple. And give that child to a German couple who didn't have children. He's going to sell the child, you see. So where does this story come from? Now, there, he's had some friends who, <laughs> well, if you want to call them that kind of friend, um, who've claimed he's made those kind of statements before, like, I could sell kids and make money. All right. He's a psychopath. He's a pathological liar. He'll say anything. But now we have proof, you see. Proof. And what does this proof entail? All right, let me go tell you what the exact story is that he has gotten from him that is going to set the world on fire. Wrongly, mind you. All right, so this fellow, his name is Ken Ralphs. He's a British expat. Um, first of all, you have to qu qu question his credibility. Apparently, he was running around Portugal because he... Supposedly, the British police, there was some gangland killing in. They erroneously let out his name or something. I'm going to say he was a snitch for something because he seems to hang out with really bad people and he seems to like to snitch. So I'm going to say he's probably been, been involved in some not so legal activities in his life. And so he was down in Portugal 
in this camping area and he takes Brunt to this spot where he says, this is where it all, he got all this information from. He says that a week before Madeline went missing, uh, he was hanging out with his friend. Uh, they were having a campfire and drinking beers and a friend lived in a teepee. Okay. There's a, there's a drifter guy living in a teepee who is drinking beers and probably has drug and alcohol problems and has no money. So this is a credible fellow right here. All right. So then they're hanging out and the friend starts crying, <laughs> which is a kind of an odd thing to do. And the friend says, he's going to get involved with Christian Bruckner and in this plot to kidnap a child from a wealthy couple and then sell that child to some Germans. And um, yeah, this is this is what he's crying about, because apparently he thinks, well, you know, he's going to make some money and then he can buy a plane ticket or something and, and go someplace. Whatever his story is. And he says he tried to talk him out of it. He says, that's ridiculous. That's, you know, you shouldn't be doing that. Oh, that's good. He's a good guy. You know, you shouldn't be doing things like that. And then a week later, he returns to England and he hears that Madeleine McCann has been gone, gone missing. So supposedly he goes to the British police and he tells them, and they supposedly sent going to send the information to Portugal and supposedly never did. And then he goes to Portugal later and checks with the police and supposedly nothing ever comes of all the statements he's made until just now. And mind you, what you see in the video that's done is Bront, you know, they show this a little teeny, you know, I took pictures of it so I could try to read it, uh, a statement. Of course, I don't know if that's the real statement. I don't know whether it's actually, I don't know what that is. Is this somebody just type something up and put it in front of a camera? I wouldn't be surprised because if you're a journalist, you ought to have the original statements. But if you don't have the original statements from anybody, I'm going to say, I don't necessarily believe anything you say or that he says. But anyway, let's say he truly did give this information because he, he this guy had said some weird stuff. One week one week before Madeline, you get this, this is where it's really important. One week before Madeline goes missing, he has this conversation. At least one week. He's not saying a couple days, whatever. He's saying one week. Well, the McCanns arrived in Prior de Luge on April 28th. And I'm pretty sure nobody knew they were there. They're just arriving, they're driving, they're settling into the flat. Nobody would really know they existed until the 29th. And Madeline is, is abducted just, I say abducted, according to them, uh, on the 3rd. She disappeared on the 3rd. So we're talking just a few days later. So in other words, when your little friend, your little crying drunk friend at the campfire said that Christian B wanted to abduct somebody, the McCanns were not even in the country. So it is impossible that they had their eye on the specific rich couple. First of all, the McCanns aren't rich. They're just, a, they're just, they're just a bunch of, they're a couple of tourists that are, that are at a, at a resort with all the other tourists. Nobody has any clue who they are from the outside. They wouldn't know they were rich and they weren't, they were doctors, but they're not rich. And just because I rented a flat, like everybody else there didn't make them rich people. So, so they weren't rich and they weren't even there yet. So, this nonsense that oh, a week before this plot was already in progress to kidnap Madeleine McCann. Absolute nonsense. Another thing that's interesting, if you're going to kidnap a kid, a poor kid looks just the same as a rich kid. The last thing any abductor wants to do is kidnap a child from a wealthy family who has resources and will have the police in, embarking on a huge investigation. What you want to do is find somebody else that's camping out someplace with their three-year-old kid and snatch that kid while the parents are doing drugs. The police are like, yeah, what'd you do? Lose the kid? What'd you do to your kid? You know, you run away with that kid. The kid will look just the same as a rich kid because I've never seen rich kids and poor kids look different. So any smart kidnapper would just pick an easy target. They're not going to go find a rich family and steal a rich kid. That's an absolute the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Okay, now let's assume, though, that they were going to target a rich family and somehow it's the McCanns. Now, what the police said was that this was a, the, the, Brunt's going back. I'm going to look at the, let me look at, go just, I'm just going to roll to the end of the article just so I can read it straight from the article so you can see it's actually 
in this article. I'm not making it up. And Scotland Yard detectives have always believed that whatever her ultimate fate, Madden was abducted in a carefully planned operation. <laughs> what? Wait a minute. What happened to what happened to some guy just originally maybe just rolling in the apartment and a burglary? What happened to just a, a sex predator seeing this little kid and deciding to crawl in the window that was never crawled in? What, what happened to all those theories? None of those were carefully planned. But now we hear that was a carefully planned operation. How carefully planned could it be if Christian Bruckner, first of all, couldn't have known about the McCanns a week before. So by the time he would find out they were there, we're talking a, a day or two or three before the actual disappearance of Madeline McCann. A carefully planned abduction. What? With this dude and his drunk, crying friend by the campfire? <laughs> Boy, that'll be carefully planned. I mean... Would you believe that's carefully planned? I don't think so. So, you know, and the re why was it carefully planned? Because there's no evidence of an abduction? Is that how you think it's carefully planned? You're planning an abduction when you have people supposedly coming back and forth from the tapas restaurant, constantly checking on the children, which isn't exactly true. But if that's, that's, the, that's what the McCann's have said, you know, how carefully can you plan this when you have to try to find a time to slip in and slip out without getting seen. And then, of course, you're going to leave no evidence. Oh, yeah, that is incredibly carefully planned, timed with precision. If you believe all of that nonsense, this is, this is, this is what we get from the media. They should be ashamed of themselves. There is, if you're going to be a journalist, you want to support something with real evidence and not nonsensical stories by a guy who was obviously some kind of snitch who maybe wants some attention. And you provided nothing that tells me that his story makes any sense, nor do you have any proof that his story is accurate. So this is the kind of junk that comes out in the media and I find appalling. If you believe the McCanns had nothing to do with the disappearance of their child, fine, but stop believing nonsense like this. And stop believing a prosecutor can't come up with a shred of evidence on this guy, creepy though he is. No, if you're going to believe in what is being done, you have to believe that whoever's doing the investigation is actually following the evidence properly. Operation Grange was always a farce with their remit to never look at the McCanns and never interview anybody in that group. To start with an abduction as the only option in what happened to Madeleine McCann. That was already a farce and a huge waste of British taxpayer money. And it continues on to today, which is just phenomenally bizarre. And, and the whole uh, Prosecutor Walters nonsense that he keeps trying to fit him into this, this particular uh, 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 crime, uh, it is a crime one way or the other, whether the McCann's are involved or she was abducted, um, just because he's a creepy dude who lives in Prior de Luche. That, you know, you, you want to look at him. I'm not saying you shouldn't look at people in the area. If, you know, when you're doing a thorough investigation, if I were doing that investigation, uh, I would be looking, I would be starting at the beginning, uh, interviewing the McCanns and the t all their friends, and I'd be doing reenactments, and I'd be examining all the evidence, including the dog stuff. And then I would also be looking at an alternative theory of maybe she was abducted or missing something. So I would be looking at anything that would prove abduction and look at all the people in the area who could have committed the crime. I would do that, but I wouldn't base uh, my conclusion on a lack of evidence, <laughs> which they have no evidence on him at all that he had anything to do with. Zero. And now he's come up with this new, <laughs> when he, he's presenting his evidence and it's nonsense. And it's, it's just an embarrassment for the, the, a person in the media to do this and for the media to support this kind of garbage, but they don't care because, believe you me, it's going to be a popular news story, isn't it? So anyway, that's my thoughts on that. Um, yeah, check out my books below and you can, you can find my uh, uh, profile of the disappearance of Madeleine McCann any place but Amazon where the McCanns had it removed uh, by, by a lawsuit threat by Carter Ruck. And um, other than that, check out my other Madeleine McCann uh videos I've done here. And also just subscribe to the channel, like this video and check my playlist for other, other cases, because I, I analyze all cases. I'm not just doing a McCann, uh, McCann channel. I uh, analyze many, many cases. Um, 
I'm promoting criminal profiling and crime scene analysis and helping people understand logic in the examination of evidence. Anyway, thank you for being here. And let's see what happens with this new great piece of information. Here's a piece of something, but I don't know what. <laughs>